I thought it might be a good idea to do videos for these four problems here at the tail end of your Algebra 2 Unit 4 Objective 2 to 4 homework, numbers 39 through 51, every other odd, uh, the division stuff. So what we talked about in class is when you see the same root on the new, in the numerator and denominator, uh, you can go ahead and, and rewrite everything that's under both of those under one big square root. And then once you do that, then you can go ahead and, and reduce the fraction. 7 goes into 56 eight times. Uh, we, we're going to cancel 1x down there, so we're going to subtract 1 from the exponent of 5. So it'll be instead of x to the fifth over x, it'll be x to the fourth up there. Same thing with the y. We're going to subtract 1 from that. So we get, uh, when all the dust settles, we get the square root of 8 in the numerator, x to the fourth also in the numerator, and then y to the fourth in the numerator and that's all over 1 but we don't have to uh, we don't have to write over 1 we could just leave it as uh, what we see here and then we should know that the square root of 8 which is the square root of 2 times 2 times 2 we could take two twos out we get a 2 on the outside the square root of x to the fourth is x squared so this is all the stuff that we did way back in the last section where we sorted cards this is now we get down to a sorting cards problem and then so I'll leave the details of that part to you, but what we should get here is 2 times x squared times y squared. All right, and then what we see here in problem number 43 is uh, we have no ability to cancel anything. If we were to write this whole fraction, uh, the whole x over 2 underneath the one radical symbol, then uh, we wouldn't be able to cancel anything. So the bottom line is what we want to do here is we want to rationalize the denominator. And so we're going to multiply top and bottom by the square root of 2. And what ends up happening is in the numerator, the square root of x times the square root of 2 is the square root of 2x. And then in the denominator, we have we know that when we multiply two radicals together, we, get, we can multiply uh, both of what's under the radical uh, together. So 2 times 2 under the radical and that's why we do that, because we need to pull out a book of two, just the, using the same terminology that we used in the, playing the cards, sorting cards. So we're going to pull out a group of two twos. So the square root of, basically, the square root of four is two. So pull out two twos, and we get two. So the bottom line is we hit uh, the end result is the square root of two x in the numerator and two in the denominator. So everybody has their own way of kind of looking at it. But when you multiply a square root of 2 times square root of 2, you get 2. So we don't have to go through all of that. You can just see it. You can go right from here to here. All right, I'm going to make a new video for the last two.